Would you like to know how to effectively communicate with people on the phone or in person? Because that's what I want to talk about today. I want to open up the conversation because I feel like this is a lost art. There's a lot of people out there that believe that human-to-human interaction, voice-to-voice communication, in-person contact um, is a thing of the past when it comes to sales. But I'm here to tell you that I believe the world is leaning back towards that direction. The further and further we go into digital, I think, the more and more demand there is to actually speak to and talk to a real human. And I believe that the core of sales is to understand how to communicate who you are as a person on the inside to your prospect or customer. I think one of the biggest problems with mainstream training is we're just looking for motivated people that want to buy our product. When in reality, when you really think about it, every single human is a customer Okay, the only question is, when do they become a customer? They're gonna become a customer when they want to become a customer. So our job is not necessarily to sell this product. Our job is to make our prospects feel comfortable with us. So write this down. Rule number one is, is that we have to make our prospects and customers feel comfortable with us as a person, who we are. If we can't cross this very first step, the most important thing in sales, we're not gonna get to the transaction. There's no way we're gonna get there because they don't feel comfortable with us enough to do business. If they don't feel comfortable with who we are, it's gonna be tough for them to do business with us. And if they do business with us, when they're not comfortable with us, that's gonna be a one-time thing. They're not gonna come back. They're not gonna be repeat business. They're not gonna refer us to their friends and family. So I want you to understand that making people feel comfortable with you is your number one job as a salesperson. Once you develop this skill of how to effectively communicate, then you can do anything you want. You can go into any industry, you can sell anything, you can do anything you want to do. So let's talk phone scripts here, okay? And I wanna take you through the very first part of my phone scripts, okay? If you wanna hear the second part and the third part, all you have to do is subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss it. So the first part of the call, what we wanna do is we wanna establish that we're talking to the right person, okay? They answer the phone, ring, 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 hello. We're gonna say, Mr. Johnson? We wanna say it like it's a question and we just wanna say their name, Mr. Johnson? Okay, and what that does is it saves time. It's not you saying, is this Mr. Johnson? Is Mr. Johnson there? It's too many words. We gotta be short, sweet, to the point. They have to know that we want to respect their time but we're coming at them in a very friendly way. We're not trying to sell them anything. We're here for their best interests. They're gonna have that comfortable feeling from the very first moment of the call, so you have to get your tone down. Sometimes this takes thousands and even tens of thousands of calls to develop this skill of making them feel comfortable within the first couple seconds. As Soon as you recognize that they are who we're trying to call, then we're gonna say, hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth at your company. How you doing today? Okay, you see, this is a, let's see how this flows so far. And what we wanna do, what we wanna do is we want to make them feel like they are a friend or family member. Okay, we want them to feel like when they're answering the phone, man, do I know this person? They sound familiar, they, they sound like a friendly voice. You know, that's the kind of feeling that you want them to have. Now, when they answer the phone and you're nervous, right, and you're scared and you have this, trembly, you know, <laughs> spooky voice, then that's gonna be red flags for them. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. They think that they're not good at calls or they think that calls don't work, but the problem is not the prospects. The problem is them. They're not effectively communicating who they are. That's what I'm trying to teach you. As Soon as they say they're doing good, we can say, good, me too, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous outside? Now, it may be raining outside and you can say, I'm just trying to stay dry. Isn't it nasty out there? About the snow, about the this. It doesn't even have to be about the weather. Just throw something out there. How was your Thanksgiving? How was your New Year? Right, it just throw something out there. How was the Super Bowl? Anything that's not going right into the sales pitch. Okay, we're loosening them up because they're expecting a sales pitch and now they're getting small talk, but it's short, sweet to the point. We're not wasting their time. We're really digging in and making them feel like we care about them because we do. You have to hide behind your intentions. So that's the first part of a cold call. That's the first part of the script. I'm gonna give you an example of a live prospect right now. And again, click subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I lay my next video out of part two of this three-part series of how to effectively communicate with people on the phone or in person. I'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go. Hey, Mr. Moore.
This is Ricky Cruz at Remix of Orange Beach. How you doing? Pretty good. How about you? Good, man. Glad we missed this storm. Yeah, right. Man, that was that was that was about that was. I don't. I haven't seen the aftermath, but I know it was about as bad as Ivan down here. The hit down here. Hey, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I, I've got seven. You got eleven and one. I've got seven and one listed for four eighty nine. And I was just, I was just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could do for you.